Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to briefly talk about ASAP. Of course, those are my first thoughts, the song hasn't been released yet and we know very little about this new comeback, but I still want to talk about it with you. Before starting with the video, I remind you to consider subscribing to my channel, I am a small creator and every kind of support is very appreciated. For the people who don't know yet, Nugent's just dropped the teaser for their new pre-release single ASAP, which will anticipate their second EP Get Up, which will be released on the 21st of July. Now, we all know the impact Nugent's had on the industry since they debuted, despite the fact they aren't even one year old as a group. They have everyone's eye and expectations on them and they know this is a critical point in their career, because now it is the time when they have to demonstrate that they are not one-hit wonders, but they are going to be a strong presence in the K-pop scene in the next few years. Let's focus on this song and what we know about it so far now. First of all, I am shocked about how good the art direction of their agency Adore is. The whole aesthetic of the teaser was so captivating and I am shocked because it seems like they changed their concept. We went from a Y2K vibe to a fairy tale slash fantasy world vibe. To be fair, I think that there are elements in common between this new snippet of ASAP and their past projects. I can still sense the nostalgic vibe that we are all used to and, also, I can still hear a little bit of Y2K influence from the few seconds of the songs that were released. I want to go back to the art direction, I love the way they styled the girls. The blonde hair and the contact lenses suit the concept very much, they all look so beautiful. Heron in particular shined in my opinion, her makeup suited her so well and she looked like a real fairy. The teaser was way too short, but the sets were amazing too, from the little lake with the roses to the field to the bridge scene. Now, I want to express my concern about this comeback. As I said before, new jeans are now an important point of their career, and changing concepts right now is extremely dangerous in my opinion. We are used to seeing really popular groups losing all the hype around them because of a bad concept change. One example of what I just said could be at sea, we all know how much hate they received after in the morning era and, especially, after sneakers era. It was a bold choice to change their concept now, especially knowing that another Y2K inspired era would have worked perfectly fine. But I also appreciated that they didn't go for the safest option. In my opinion, one reason I think they decided to give up their Y2K concept, at least for this pre-release, is because, as I said in one of my previous videos, they feared the oversaturation of the concept. They probably didn't want Nugent's image to be linked solely to Y2K because, sooner or later, people will get tired of it. When a group is known just for one concept, and people get sick of it, then the group loses popularity. An example of this is Twice. They became famous for cutesy songs and, as soon as they went for more mature songs, a chunk of their audience decided to leave the fandom. In general, I am really excited for this comeback. I am looking forward to listening to the song and hope Nugent's can manage this concept shift successfully. Let me know what you think about this comeback in the comments and consider subscribing, I am a small channel and every kind of support is appreciated. Bye bye.